We started out this build with plywood, three quarter inch Baltic birch. I've already cut the sides in the bottom for the box. These are going to be the two support pieces on the top of the box. I'm ripping these out of just some leftover birch that I had in the shop. Next, I'll drill the uh, pocket holes for those support pieces to connect the box. I'll put two holes on each end, and that should be sufficient to hold things together. Just like that. Next, I'll glue and screw these support pieces to the uh, sides of the box. I'll use a clamp to hold the pieces in position while I screw them in. I use plenty of glue on these ends because the end pieces soak up so much glue. And here I have both the support pieces attached to the box. Next I'll make the base. I've already cut the miters on the ends of the boards for the front part of the base. The back part of the base will just be box joints. I'll use glue and brad nails to secure the joint. I'll use these corner clamp jigs to hold it square while the glue dries. But like I said, I'm going to use 18 inch gauge brad nails to secure this joint. And it should be a solid enough joint for what it's used for. I also added some frog tape to pull the joint tight together as well. Now I'm just gluing in the back piece. I glued and screwed the back piece in with pocket holes and pocket screws. Next I'll put some pocket holes on the insides of this base so I'll have a way to screw the base onto the bottom of the box. I realized I should have put the pocket holes in before I put the uh, base pieces together. But now I'm screwing the base to the bottom of the box. Next I'll make the top for this box. Now this box can be used with a countertop or you can do it like I'm doing here and just making a solid wood top. I think a solid wood top will work just fine since there won't be any uh, real usage other than the microwave sitting on top of it. Now I've started the face frame as you can I decided taping the rails together and cutting them all at once would give me the same dimension for each style. And it worked out great. Now I put some pocket holes in these styles to attach them to the rails. I found that just gluing these and clamping them first and then later, once the glue has dried, Add the pocket hole screws for extra strength is a much better way to go rather than trying to pocket hole screw these in and then have things move on me since I don't have a pocket hole clamp. Now I'm trimming up the top for the, the cabinet. Didn't take much because it was pretty close to size. I just needed to trim a little off of each end.
And now I'm removing the glue in the high spots with a small jack plane. Back to more pocket holes. I could have drilled these pocket holes when I drilled the other pieces. These are the top support pieces for the box for the cabinet. But luckily the pocket hole jig is uh, pretty mobile and multifunctional and this works out great. I'm gluing on the uh, face frame here. The pocket holes will, will secure the frame to the box and then I'll pin nail it as well. You'll probably notice I clamp blocks to the top of the box so I can set the uh, face frame in place and have it equal on both sides. These are the spacers for the drawer glides. I'm stacking two pieces of plywood. One's a half inch and one is three quarter and that's the thickness that I need in order to get the width of the drawer that I want. Now I'll cut those to size or length and position them where I want them. Now I'm adding some pre-stain to the box and the face. I'm going to use uh, oak stain on the entire thing so it'll have a nice uniform finish. The pre-stain helps to prevent blotchiness, mostly in the plywood. As you can see, I've got the, the sides reversed. They should have been on the outside since no one will see the outsides of this cabinet, but we will see the inside of the cabinet every time we open the door. But I think it, either way, the finish and the grain pattern is really neat. It still looks nice. And that's the first coat of stain. After the pre-stain, pre and I think it turned out pretty nice. Here I'm installing the spacers for the drawer glides. I drill and screw six holes. That should hold it in place fine. Same with the other side. I added a shelf as you can see. Stay tuned for the completion of this cabinet in the next video. Thanks for watching.